Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to walk you through on the quickest way you can do your free press self-injured and get your skin retouching very neat and faster. Okay, so in this technique, we are going to be using frequency separation. Okay, this is the easiest method, guys. So I'm just going to walk you through on how you can get it done in five minutes. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using this model today. So the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this image. I'll press my control J to, to duplicate to have a copy first. So I'm just going to remove the blemishes. If you notice in this image, there are some blemishes in this image. So I'm just going to take care of that. There are so many tools to do that. So I'll just come to yeah, my spot hearing brush tool and pick hearing brush tool. Okay. So this one now will help me to sample and replace anywhere that I want to. Okay. I'm just going to zoom in my model so that I can be able to sample and replace. So like this, just hold your alt to sample and replace anywhere that you want it to be. So my things. So I can just I'll still come back. Maybe I'll just try to use my hatch tool. So let me show you how this one works. Just select a particular place and cover it with another place that you think is better and press Ctrl D to deselect. So you select so you select a place that you think that has a brain which can take it to a place that is better and deselect, okay? So this is how this wall works, okay? We just select and deselect. Select and take it to a place that has almost the same color. So you just press your deselect and it will deselect, okay? So this is how this one works. So once I'm done with my brushes, look at it before, look at it after. What I'm going to do is to duplicate this, duplicate it for the second time, then because I want to do my frequency separation. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change this one to low. Because this is this is about the skin tone, the colors and all that. Then this is the texture. So I'm just going to have the high as the texture. Here is about the skin color, the skin tone. So here is about the texture. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is to mute this, come to my room, go to my filter, go to bro, Gaussian bro. I'm just going to choose a a broad that will be very close to that once I just see the my texture going up okay so that's how to get a perfect result in this so we just have to play around with this to get a perfect result so, so once I just see my texture going off I'll just have to Leave it that way, okay? So look at that, look at before, look at after, look at before, look at after. So once I see my texture going up, up, we'll just take care of it that way, okay? Let's say, right, this is okay, 18 is okay. So I'll just come to my high, go to my image, apply image, okay? So I'm going to merge from the row. So subtract, okay, then my scale should be 2, my offset 128, just use this settings here, you get the exact result guys, so I'll just click on it, then come to my branding option, choose linear rights, okay, so yeah, so I'll just click on both and press Ctrl G to merge, so if you notice now there is no much, there is no changes here at all. Why? Because these are just for the the color tone and the texture. Okay, the color tone and the texture. Everything about this image is here. The color tone and the, and the texture. Then I'll come to my color tone. 
which is the o. click on it choose my my brush if if you are not seeing it here you can come here okay edit too bad so but my brush is here i'll just come down to this mr brush too okay then make sure you click on this too i write this empty space my width is 17 my load is 75 mix 19 load is 17 i can take my flow to 100 i think it's okay like right that so i'll take my flow to 100 so that i can have a smooth right so i can just do this because this is just my texture but i want to work on the color tone okay to blend everything okay so i'm not going to start painting Oh, so make sure you don't drag your highlight to the shadow. Okay. Look at, look at before, look at after. Okay, so make sure you don't drag the highlight to the shadow. Look at what I mean. Okay, so if you are painting the secret of, make sure you are painting on just the highlights. Okay. Make sure you are brushing on just the highlights. Don't put the highlight to the shadow. Okay, so something like this. Look at this carefully. Look at the shadows. Look at the highlights. Look at the shadows. So don't paint this one to here. You just paint according to. Because this highlight and the shadow, that is what forms the shape of this image to be like this. Okay, so once you tamper with the highlight and shadows, you have destroy the image so you got to be careful when using your mr brush too that's why you just have to give it time take your time and get a perfect result of what you are doing okay so just take your time and get it done okay so look at that now come to the nose so Make sure you blend everything perfect. Make sure you blend everything perfectly. So take your time. So look at the before, look at the after. You could see amazing work already. Amazing work already. So this is how to use your Mesa brush to, to get your frequency separation done. Okay. So look at the before, look at the after. So I just fast forward it so that we will not take all the whole side. So just take your time. So this is how to get into a guide. So just take your time, don't rush it. Take your time, you'll get a perfect result. Okay, so guys, this is how to use pre-quest separation to retouch your images. So do make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video. Thank you.